So much exposition, haha. Huh? Well, it is... I am at the tail end of the game. So it does feel like it's gonna wrap up soon. So, a lot of things have to open up now. I can definitely see that. <clears throat> Let me get my timer here. Alright, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's home to the ADDC. Makes a comfy place for all we the went over there a few times. to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to vice minister. In other words, his whole legacy is riding on the ADDC. AD9's got to come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting, either. There are tons of parties involved, all being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD9 to succeed, so be it. So, AD9 is their cure for Alzheimer's and it's but there's some shady stuff going on around it like how it might not work for humans uh, apparently this shit got real serious real quick didn't it we in over our heads in the end maybe it was my own incompetence that led Hamura down this path Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the AD9. Now, if regular old civilians started disappearing, that'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said... <sighs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. And what, these Yakuza deserve this somehow? The Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Actually, I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. Uh-oh. Proof that Hamra took part in the attack. Oh, wow. This is all my old... This is really old evidence. Can't be these guys. It's too old. Broken camera. It has to be the nine o'clock. It can't be the guys. He threw them in the club and then they all left then. 
And then for camera. Let's do this one. Take a look at this. Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. <clears throat> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys, one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When your mark's that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone is me. So what happened after you left Amur? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car. Took him to Shono. Just like all the other 89 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Well, then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> Maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. Okay. <laughs> What's next on the list? <clears throat> Keep the fucking pressure on this shithead. We're learning a lot. We're learning a lot. Next up, Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan. But you guys still used him as an AD-9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? When we took care of Kume, I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think, wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talked to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose? Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why'd he start digging it up? Beats me. Got a pretty good theory, though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. My guess? He didn't wanna let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial. But you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure. But it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were. Alright, Gumstitch, have a good down. day. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. 
So, I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a Fall Guy, we picked Ayabe. First, we got his gun. The Mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to shut uh, up. You really want to meet them all? Now's your chance. Atsugane san, we gotta go. You too. Get up. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. Huh. From where they stand, I'm sure you could be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. The Matsugane! They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Captain! Oh, Marase! Oh no. How many they got? <laughs> Captain! <laughs> That's it, they're so fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Gotta go, Matsugane san. Right. Leave Hamura to me. Stay away from me. 
Places, huh? I have to go straight. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Oh. Indeed, huh? Damn it. 
Mm. Command grab. Okay. Is that the mole? Don't! to make up for 
It was the, the only way. You old fool. You didn't need to go that far. I only did what any father would have. Masagane san! Just hold on. Doc, my boy. This is it for me. Hurry and get out. Not without you. Uh, Let's go. The mole is Koroiwa. <sighs> now you know the truth. Koroiwa is the one you want. And Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh, no. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Kuroiwa. Back at the center of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Oh. Uh, Yagami-kun, what's going on? Up. Don't fret, Fujisan. We just need to have a little chat at the station. No. He needs to get to a hospital. Hmm. He looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. He'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. You had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. <sighs> Could you... At least take these off, or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. <sighs> Hamura told me everything. Told you what? Told me who you really are. You killed Vice Director Hashiki. You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But there's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. And can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Matsugane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> Let's see you try! I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. They see everything. When it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. 
Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. <laughs> if you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraught. Karoiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. See what all they say now. Mm -hmm, these are updated. Ishimatsu. asking I have a present for you what is it I don't know some guy told me to give it to you he said he was a friend oh and he said to open it right away what Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Well, did you enjoy my present? It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? Oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my car. Koga? Oh. You don't know me? Hmm. I see. I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk! Show me what you can do, Yagami-san! Flash bomb. 
You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami-san. Pop me out. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami san. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami san. <laughs> God. 
You guys are the farce. What am I doing wrong <laughs> here? Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami-san. Now you got it. What? <clears throat> no. I don't have any much heat items too. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami san.
What kind of bullshit is that? strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire, until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Can't these guys just leave me alone? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Now that I know you're safe too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night.
same after that mess. Oh boy. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of enemies. First. one again. <clears throat> You're going for I I now. All the way to the back. All the way. Do 
least we got gone gone. Let's take a break. 